Welcome back to another episode, guys. Just come out here today with my girl, Jaleesa. We're gonna try and get her onto a couple of green dogs. She's pretty hot, so can't wait to get in the river for a swim and hopefully try and get some fish anyway. Let's get them. He's nice too. Yes! That is a moment, man. That was a real special moment, eh? I think I shared something special with that fish. Yes! So, I'm just going to give you a rundown on what just happened. So, we've come up to this big log here behind me and we couldn't get a good vantage point at it. So, we've come down through the Kabungi so that I could get Jaleesa to take a shot at that log. And there was a 60 centimetre cod plus just free swimming on the surface. I don't know if the GoPros picked it up or not, but I thought it was a carp, so I just took a stupid cast at it just for shits and giggles and as the cast landed I realised it was a cod and spooked it and it took off so yeah blew, blew it that one but it's amazing to see them free swimming on the surface at 4.30 in the day man like that's crazy anyway let's go get some more alright Jaleesa's just going us up and she snagged so I'm having the first cast in there For reasons why I don't know that didn't pull a fish off that like that is heaven. Oh no. Just broke me rod. <gasps> I've lost two sections. Must have had a weak spot in it. Well, this is it. This is the end, my friend. It's the end of the line. Gonna be sad to see this one go. She's now retired. As you can see, guys, I've just popped the end of the rod in the water um, to get the spinnerbait off the log, and I've drove it straight into the log. Snap me rod, me old faithful. This was the one that I've caught most of the fish on in all my videos. Um, so she's now retired, but before I retire, I just want to let you know a little bit of background history on that rod. That rod was built in the 90s in the Territory for my father. Uh, my father was a tour guide up there, and um, he was a world record holder on fly rod as well for Barra, and still stands, but that rod was built for him by his good mate Pip Clement. Now, some of you blokes might know him for his flies that he ties, his little critters, they're amazing. Go check him out, I'll put his link down below. Um, so you can check him out there, but he used to also build rods and some of the best in the country as well Up there with with the Miller rods and all of that back in the day 
Um, if you don't know, now you know. But also, guys, I need your help to, to find a new rod, something that's going to be medium heavy, six foot, sensitive tip so I can uh, very accurate casting and all that. Not a big swim bait rod, just something for the skinny stuff. I've got a couple in my mind that I'm keen on, but if anyone's got any recommendations, please put them down in the comments below. That'd be, that'd be super cool. I do go on in this video to catch a few more fish with the broken rod, so don't go anywhere, check it out. But yeah, the video the video's just getting started, guys. So anyway, that's the end for old faithful Berkeley. One more for good measure. Ah, cheers, guys. Let's get back into it. On. on the broken rod, the smash em spinner bait, the chatter bait. Good on you, mate. He's a nice one. Just sitting in that little bit of stale water there. Another nice little Murray cod here on the smash em, smash em mumbler or smash em chatter bait. I had this lure sent to me by um, a young fella, Jonty from Smash em Spinner Baits and he, uh, he gave me this mumbler here to try out and just give him some feedback on it and they work. Got this nice little one here on it so thanks for that mate. Big shout out to you, you're a legend, you're doing great things. See you doing a tackle box over the Xbox mate, that's amazing. We're going to get this one back in. <laughs> there he goes, yes. Smash them spinner baits. Check them out. Yes! I was about to say good cast, darling, right in his throat. Is it a yellow? At least you're able to distinguish the difference. Oh, yes! yes. It's a yellow. No! Is it? No, I thought I was seeing yellow. No, I thought. Hey, they're on fire. We just pulled three out of that stretch on the pirate. Look at that, these are nice fish. Fish? Off yeah. oh, there, keep casting. I'm just going to set up some footage here. So that was, that's funny actually. This has jinxed me. This spot, both times I've been here and caught a fish, I have uh, lost the release footage. So I was just about to beach, I turned the GoPro off, I was about to beach that fish there so I could do just a bit of a a release and he was only pinned and I put some pressure on him and it's pulled the hook straight out and off he went but we've just pulled three fish out of this 50 meters of water here so the fish are starting to fire up and uh, yeah it's dinner time let's try and get some more this is all good water here see where that big log comes in Jaleesa that big tree that big one on the 45 put one in there Yes! Nice one. Well done.
Yeah, babe. And that's a yalla. Yellow belly. Yeah. First yellow for a while. Yeah. Followed me back halfway across the river. Now I'll let him go. <laughs> well, guys, um, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. Delisa's is on about five. We've lost count actually. I've only got three or four and we are just switching to surface now. The sun's setting down and the whole idea of today was to come out and get Jaleesa her first surface cod. So we're going to try and do that and uh, yeah, let's see how we go. Oh, that's fucking... Leave it. Twitch, twitch, yes. That's great. Surface fish for the miso, you dogs. Come on. I was about to tell you to do it. He's foul hooked. Yeah. See that? Yeah. She's a pretty slow surface bite tonight. We've only had the one buff and then that little one, but um, we'll uh, go back to camp, have a couple of drinks, and we'll try and get one in the morning anyway, and we'll see how we go. Anyway, we just woke up. She's just after first light, and um, we can hear the cod busting up over here, so we're gonna go for a bit of a mission. And see if we can get a few off the surface. Uh, put in about an hour or two after that, and then we'll be coming back, back to the car and back home. So, anyway, let's see if we can go get a few of the dogs. <laughs> That's it guys, wrapping this one up. It's been another good session out here on the skinny stuff. Did an overnight sesh with the missus and I got it handed to me. She's caught a few more than me, so yeah, I've lost a bit of street cred for that. I've dropped two points in the Gudu cred, but it's all good. We had fun, that's the main thing. We got away from the kids for a night and uh, it's just important. Make sure you have fun, enjoy it. You won't catch any fish on the couch, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Make sure you like and subscribe. 
please uh, feel free to share this video if you want on any platform. And yeah, thanks for riding it out to the end with us and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.